What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I'm going to focus in on the seven-year, $39 million extension the Colorado Avalanche gave uh, 20-year-old captain Gabriel Landeskog uh, today. You know, I think it's a, it's a fair deal, five point something. I mean, you know, he's your captain. Uh, he's, you know, the face of your franchise. Obviously, you just brought in Nathan McKinnon. And uh, for the most part, the Colorado Avalanche have been the epitome of ineptitude the last, you know, four years, uh, three years since they made the playoffs in 2010. Shouldn't have given up that pick for Varlamov. Um, you know, I, as much as like McKinnon would have taken Seth Jones. Um, and, you know, it's two different organs, two different uh, front office staff making the you know the, the mistakes. And um, you know, they've got a good nucleus there with Duchesne, with uh, O'Reilly, with obviously McKinnon, Landis Gog in the full long term. Um, you know, still going to address the back end, but you know, they they made a good move today. I know Landis Gog took a lot of heat. I gave him a lot of heat when the. Um, Jaguar called out the team about the Vegas trip and, and all that back in, you know, it was that February, uh, I think March or April. And, uh, you know, I felt he should have been more assertive as a captain. Now, being a 20-year-old captain in the NHL, on, to put it bluntly, a really shitty team, you know, it's tough. But um, I don't think your, your goalie, who's, you know, what's Jiggy, 36, 37? I know he's won a Stanley Cup. He's class personified, one of the better goalies of the last 10 years. But I, I just... He shouldn't be the one that speaks up on stuff like that. That's what, you know, A, it shouldn't come out to the media like, like he did. And B, it shouldn't have dealt with in the locker room. But, um, you know, I think he's going to learn from the, the downfalls of his, you know, his first few years. The team wasn't that great. But, um, you know, he, he's the captain of the ship now. And, uh, you know, with Duchene in the fold long term now, um, I think the two of them are going to be making sweet music um, for a long time. I think, like I said, O'Reilly's going to end up on the wing long term. Um, McKinnon will eventually pass. Um, Duchene on the depth chart. Stastny will get moved eventually. Um, I, I mean, I think O'Reilly's going to get moved eventually, too. I think it's going to be uh, Duchene and McKinnon down the middle long term with Landis Gog um, as the, the star traction on the wing. But, you know, they're taking care of business, assigning the guys to long term, I'd say moderately cap friendly contracts. I mean, Landis Gog is what he is. Um, I think he'll probably peak at a 60 point guy, you know. Um, but, I, I mean, I think he. He does all the little things. He kills penalties. He's um, only second as a rookie when he won the Calder Trophy. He was only the second rookie in history in the NHL to have 20 goals and 200 hits. You know, enough back when he was you know good with uh, Calgary to be in the other. But um, you know, I don't dislike the move. I just think the 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 team's a you know can an organization be an island? Um, you know, they've been um, they've made some really questionable decisions. But you know, this is one that, that is a good one and. Uh, you know, he's got one year left on his entry level deal, and then it kicks in, so he'll be in the fold for the next eight years. And, um, you know, that's what you got to do. You got to take care of your own guys before you worry about going out and recruiting, you know, free agents and making, you know, trades. But um, I think they've got a long road to get back to where they were, but um, we'll see what happens. It should be a pretty intriguing team to watch this year with uh, Patty Ruwabe on the bench and Joe Sackett calling a lot of the, the shots in terms of hockey operations. So, like I said, we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's all this episode of the Power Play with CJ on the uh, Colorado Avalanche re-signing Gabriel Landeskog to a seven-year extension. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the offseason and beyond. Later, guys.